Hi and welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I talked about how to add Sailor to your ASMR core projects. Now let's talk about syncs. You can send your logs to different syncs. Syncs are your uh, logs destination. And there are lots of them in here. Most of them are developed in by the community and some of them are developed by uh, Sailor team itself. But you can rely on most of them with no problem so we use tailog syncs console to send logs to console page and uh, you can mm, send logs to elma to email you can save them into a file you can do all sorts of things with your logs and today let's uh, go to postgres and save logs into a database and uh, to do that we need to add a package called serlog syncs postgres to our postgres sql to our um, project so first let's install the package for serlog syncs postgres and now uh, we need to have a connection string let's add it right in here it's a typical Connection sync for Postgres, and I'm using Docker for, for my Postgres, but uh, I'm also using uh, Postgres uh, installed Postgres uh, by uh, my local system. So it doesn't matter, it's just a connection string, and you can set it the way uh, you need it. And then uh, we can uh, go to program.cs file and add the configs for Postgres. In you say, look, uh, I paste these lines of code and it's pretty straightforward. And uh, the connection string is here. You can find the connection string by using context. It's host builder context. I named context just to, for easier. And read and write and then context configuration get connection string is uh, where I am keeping my connection string uh, right in here and the name is logging and then I use config to write two postures this part is uh, just uh, like this part but we also need to uh, set the connection string we need to set the name of the table in that database that you want to create and we also uh, can use a couple of other options um, for me right now i just need to auto create the table if it doesn't exist so you need to create the database by yourself but that the table uh, will be added by post uh, postgres uh, library uh, say look uh, and you don't know, need to do anything much now let's run the project again and see if we are uh, working or not so the project is up and running let's go to pg admin and see what we have so i'm in pg admin managing my postures database and here is my logs underline db database and this is the table I didn't create this table, this table created by application when it was running. And uh, I just cleared all the logs uh, to make sure and we see them as I run the project again. And let's run it again. And uh, here we have lots of logs. And uh, let's refresh this and you get the same logs here as you get them in your console application but this is stored and you can uh, use these logs to find bugs and see what's happening in the project later so that's it for today thanks for watching and see you soon